It is true that God is sovereign. God is omnipotent. He can do just anything. But it is also true that God is a good businessman. God would check the ground upon which he's going to invest before he determines what kind of investment to put in it. God will check your preparedness to receive what he will give before he deposits. God does not just give anything anyhow. Praise God. There must be a preparation. Many times we don't see more of God in our lives as believers. More of God in our lives as ministers. Because we are not preparing for what we desire to see. Desire is powerful. And it's a powerful kingdom principle. But until desire is substantiated by preparation. It becomes just a mere wish. Desire holds no substance until there is preparation. Not called to the ordinary Christian life. The Christian life was not supposed to be marked by a badge. It was not supposed to be described by a sticker. The Christian life was supposed to be marked by the acts of God walking through us. Marked by the acts of God. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Not these assumptions, these signs. Many times we're looking up to God, but God is waiting on us. The earnest expectation of the entire creation waits, awaits the manifestation of the sons of God. The manifestation, not the titles of the sons of God. The manifestation of the sons of God. So the creation is waiting for us to take our place. The creation is waiting for us to express the way, the life of God, to convert it into tangible things. Hallelujah. Let's start being Christians. Christianity is not a title thing. Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is a life that must find expression with ease. With ease. With ease. The entire essence in the definition of Christianity is the extraordinary life.